Hi, I'm Carl Taylor from visualeducation.com. Welcome to our series of lighting modifier videos. In this week's episode, we're gonna be looking at some specialist lighting modifiers and studio lighting. So, what is this? This is a very compact studio lamp head. Now, let me explain. Lamp head means a studio light that runs off of a power pack rather than the capacitor and the power being in the lamp head itself. If the capacitor and all the control settings are in the lamp head, then that's called a mono light. And many of the brands out there, including Broncolor, Profoto, Elinchrom, Godox, they have mono lights in their range. Many studio photographers use single lamp heads that plug into a power pack and you control all the power from the pack. That usually gives you more power and a more compact lamp head. Now that system uh, also uh, is available from Broncolor, Profoto, etc, etc. Now one of the benefits when you work from a pack is that your lamp head is smaller but what's special and unique about this particular series of lamp heads is that it also fits into the same pack that these larger lamp heads that we've been looking at in the past fit into as well. But in this particular instance, they've made an even smaller lamp head. This is just the handle, so you can see how small that lamp head is. And the reason for that is that in product photography, often you're trying to get your lights in quite close or you've got lots of lights in a very small space all overlapping each other and it can get pretty busy in there. So the more compact the lamp head, the better. Now, of course, there are other compact lamp heads such as a Godox Studio Light uh, not sorry, uh, Godox speed light here with a round head. And you can see, actually, this is very similar in size to the Pico light. However, the power of this being able to plug into a pack is greater than something like a speed light. Additionally, the modeling lights in these are a little bit basic. It's just a single little LED light compared to a proper modeling light control on that one, which you know means it's not quite as versatile with the modeling light uh, that comes in the speed light version. But our main problem here is just the usability. Or instead of you know fiddling around with all these little menus here, we can control it nice and easily from the pack. The other main problem, of course, is the amount of output power. We can get 1600 joules out of this lamp head but the main function of these small compact lamp heads is the range of accessories. And what this series of videos is about is about lighting modifiers, not so much the lamp heads. And that's where this particular series of lights uh, come into their own because there are a number of specialist accessories available for these compact lamp heads that do things that other studio lights uh, don't do or maybe the other brands don't have them in the range and we're going to look at those uh, in, a, in a second. First of all let's just come back to the lamp head itself. As I said it's not a mono light, it's a, a light that goes into a pack. It's very compact so it means you can get it into tight spaces. But here we see accessories attached to that same lamp head. So there you go, you can see that is the same lamp head. Now remember in an earlier video, we looked at Fresnel lenses. So this one is a compact Fresnel lens that can attach to this compact lamp head and that can give us a really nice, controlled, tight, compact beam of light with that Fresnel. This is also the same light. It's a small, tiny, compact Pico light. But this specialist accessory is a projection lens attachment with gobo blades that allows you to project uh, a pattern of light or a shape of light given uh, to a given space 
uh, as required by using these blades. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about this on this one because we're going to do another video looking just at projection attachments. Additionally, if we look at this one here, this one has a very compact tight snoot that can be attached on here uh, to make very small balls of light. And then here, even very compact barn doors for certain effects or attaching gels. And then finally, here we have the Pico box attached to the Pico light. And this is probably one of the smallest uniform homogeneous soft boxes you can find. And this is great for doing highly detailed product work. I recently did a, a Coca-Cola can shot uh, and I had to utilize this very small, beautiful, compact soft box. And this is a, a rigid acrylic uh, soft box called the Pico box. Now, they're not cheap, these accessories. I will admit that the range of accessories for these Pico lights and the Pico lights themselves are not cheap. But if you do what I do, which is highly detailed product photography uh, as you know your main area of commercial photography, then I have found these particular lights super, super important for my workflow in being able to deliver the type of images that I shoot to clients where I've got really ultra fine control over small patches of light, tiny slivers of light, tiny round balls of light to you know, exaggerate a particular area of a photograph. Um, and those features of having this range of compact, precise modifiers, and that's what differentiates this series of lights from many others, is this precise control of light in small spaces that's afforded with the Pico lights. Now, as I mentioned with some of the speed lights, yes, you might be able to find a snoot that you can get for a speed light. You may even find some projection attachments for some of the other lights, and we're going to look at those in a, in a later video. You may even find small soft boxes, but I don't think you'll find anything with the same level of control uh, of precision that we're getting with this particular series. Okay, let's take a look at some of the uh, results that these lights provide in our lighting comparison app on visual education. Okay, so over on the left here, we have the bare bulb studio light, uh, which we've been using as a sort of comparison. Uh, for the others. And on the right here, we've actually got the Fresnel from the Pico light, and I've got it in the flood position. And you can see that's giving a lovely, crisp, uh, high contrast light. Then um, the Pico uh, Fresnel in the spot position shown there. But then if we move over to uh, something a little bit more different, like the Pico projection mask. This is the one here where we can set a specific area of light to be projected. And you can see how I've set it there to create just a very thin strip of light. Um, and then combining it with a fill-in light as well. Now that looks obviously a little bit weird, but if we defocus the light, you see how you can turn it into something uh, a little bit different. But we're covering that in another video. There's a version of uh, a very specific area of light been set there with it, with it projected in the sharp focus point. And then you can see when you defocus it, how you can create these lovely, uh, you know, almost sort of uh, magical patches of light um, through using these compact accessories. Now we don't have a uh, huge amount of examples beyond that in the comparison app, but some of the pictures that we're showing you on screen now give you plenty of examples of how and why I have to use these compact Pico lights uh, for my work to get that really detailed level of control in some of these images, especially when you're talking about dealing with small objects. And a lot of product photography is dealing with small objects. But in saying that, even some photography on larger products, such as cars or motorbikes, you'll see me using these compact lights to create very specific small pools of light to just illuminate a very, very small area. Now, as I said, that particular range of lights is something I get asked about a lot. 
and I wanted to show you those to show you what they actually are about. There are other workarounds with speed lights. There are workarounds with some other ranges of compact mono lights um, and, and some of the accessories, but I don't think there is a uh, range of compact lights and precision modifiers quite as effective as those. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on another episode of our studio lighting modifier series. If you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe and give us a like. We'll see you next time.